Praise God. So the heading of our sharing tonight. The place of a manifestation. A place of assignment. Praise God. Amen. Maybe we can turn a bit to where our elder yesterday was touching in Luke 5. Verse 9 to 10. Is somebody there who can help us? Verse 9 For the interest of time, I'm not going to read every scripture. Praise God. Uh, in verse 8 the Bible tells us that Peter fell down and worshipped the Lord and he said depart from me I am a sinner why did Peter do that number one he recognized it is the Lord who did it number two he recognized it is the Lord who did it because of unbelief. When the Lord said launch into the deep. He first response he said we have toiled all through the night and we have caught nothing. So Peter was filled with the unbelief. Peter was filled with the fear. Peter But he, he took a step and said, "By at your word." I will launch. And the Bible tells us there was a big drought of fish. So brethren and belief. He realized that he was not in a rightful position. We are saying a place of manif a place of a manifestation is a place of assignment. When Christ manifests before us. It took Christ to manifest before Peter and his friends. And the unbelief went down. We need Christ to be manifest in our lives. That any obstacle to what God wants to do in our lives will come down. First John chapter 3 verse 8. Chapter 3 verse 8. First John chapter 3 verse 8. Yokana, Yokana, Romunana. Yes, The Bible says he who does what is sinful is of the devil. But the reason the son of God was manifest that the works of the enemy will be destroyed. Brethren, we need a manifestation of Christ in our lives. Until Christ is manifest in your life. Until Christ is manifest in my life. The works of the devil will not be destroyed. Sin will prevail in your life. And will not be able to accomplish what God wants us to accomplish. So the, son, the manifestation of the Son of God destroys every work of the devil. I don't know what you are struggling with. I don't know what is what that obstacle is. 
But I want to tell you tonight what you need is the presence of God in your life. Psalms 114 says when Israel came out of Egypt and the house of Jacob from the people of a strange language. The Bible says Judah became his dominion. Judah became God's dominion. God, where God dwells. Where God rules. So if we want to accomplish an assignment before God. We have to allow the dominion of the Lord in our lives. As children of God, as a body of Christ, as this seeker, until we allow the dominion of God, then can we be able to accomplish that assignment? I want you to turn to Joshua chapter 5, verse 13 to 15. And then Joshua chapter 6. Joshua, the Bible tells us he sat beside the wall of Jericho. I don't know what comes in your mind when you think about Joshua sitting beside the wall of Jericho. Remember the children of Israel at that time were conquering the land. But Joshua reached now a point when he was faced with Je Jericho. Like the Lord is telling us, go and take the nations. But we are here and saying, how shall we take take the nations. How shall we conquer this area? So Joshua was there wondering. The other thing Joshua was also doing was meditating on the Lord. Because the Bible tells us he looked up. And when he looked up, he saw the angel besides him with the sword in his hand. Praise God. And this person, the Bible says, a man. And this person went ahead and told Joshua, Lose your shoes. For the place where you're standing is holy. Joshua received that manifestation. Joshua, got that face to face encounter with the Lord. Brethren, when we meet the Lord face to face, we don't remain the same. The first thing which happens is our shoes are loosed. The place where you're standing is holy. Brethren, this assignment the Lord has given us is holy. That position the Lord has put you is holy. Joshua was standing beside Jericho. He had the task to conquer Jericho. But what was the requirement? He had to lose his shoes. Brethren, until we come to that moment, I, 
like we read in Luke. Peter had to lose his shoes. Then he saw the drought of fish. In Isaiah chapter 6. Isaiah had to lose his shoes. And the angel touched his lips. And then he said, here I am, Lord, send me. Brethren, until we reach that point of an encounter with the Lord. Like our brother Gibson last week was talking about Moses. Exodus chapter 3. Exodus chapter 3. The angel appeared before Moses. Malaika ya Jerry Musa. And he also said, this place which you are standing is holy. Lose your shoes. Malaika ya gamba Musa, jamwe ngato ozo, echifocho oli mochi tukuvu. Brethren, there is nowhere the Lord is going to take us with these ordinary shoes. Abe mikuano, teri katonda jia tutuwa langa tuchalina zine ngato za abulijo. There is nowhere the Lord is going to take me and take you. With the ordinary shoes I'm putting on. Abe mikuwa noteri katonda ya kutuwa ala gwe nange. Okuja konga tuje muzine ngate nkade. We have to lose the shoes. Tulino okuja muzine ngato za abuli jo. There is something in you you have to lose. Wali wocho olino kutango mutu. And then the Lord will come will take you on for his assignment. A Ephesians chapter 6 verse 10 to 18. He says, finally brethren, be strong in the Lord. In the, in the Lord. And in the might of his strength. Of his power. And it continues to talk about putting on the whole armor of the Lord. Brethren, we need the helmet of salvation. We need a breastplate of righteousness. We need a belt of truth. We need the sword of the spirit. That's why we saw that, that man who stood before Joshua. He was standing on the holy ground with the sword drawn in his hand. There is nothing the Lord will do beyond unless his word if we have to go out and conquer the Jerichos, we need the word of God. We need the presence of God. We need the spirit of God. We need to be clothed in the whole armor of God. In Ephesians, it talks about the shoes of the gospel. So, brethren, it's not my ordinary shoes. That will win that soul. That will bring transformation to that village. That will bring transformation to this community. But we need the shoes of the gospel. We need to be dressed with the whole armor of God. Verse 18 talks about praying without ceasing. Brethren, this assignment needs to be backed with the prayer. Remember the place of manifestation is the place of assignment. God cannot manifest himself when you are in a general place. Joshua sat beside the Jericho wall and was there alone. Moses 
when he was taking care of the sheep of his father-in-law Musa yali alabirira endiga za Cesar when he saw the burning bush he moved aside we yalabanga nga waliwo ekikuto omuliro and yesterday we had in Luke 5 the Lord told Peter and his friends move the boat aside a bit. So brethren, the, pre, the place of his manifestation is a place of separation. The place of his manifestation is a place of holiness. The place of his manifestation is a place where the word prevails. The place of his manifestation is when we have put on the whole armor of the Lord. Verse 3 of 6, Joshua chapter 6. The Lord told them that told Joshua let all the men of the war go around the city so let me take you back to verse 2 it says see I have given you Jericho and the king thereof and the mighty men of valor. Brethren, there is no city which does not have a ruler. So when we just walk with our ordinary shoes in we our ordinary way, you cannot conquer that city. You cannot conquer Jericho. Jericho has a ruler. There is a king of Jericho. And where there is a king, there are mighty men of valor. That's why we need to put on the whole armor of God. That's, that's why we need to be equipped. So, brethren, in verse 3, it says, All men of war. Here is an aspect of teamwork. Brethren, if we are to conquer Jericho, we need to go as a team. If we have to conquer this nation, we need to work as a team. If we need to conquer this environment around us, we need to go as a team. We need to work as a team. Each one of us, in the team we have a place. And these positions brought together, we shall win. Let's just stand up and pray. You know the shoes which you have to undo. Remember the place of his manifestation is the place of assignment. Just open your heart before the Lord. Open your heart before the Lord. Let's stand up. Mm. Just open your heart before the Lord. Surrender your life to the, to the Lord. Do you know when the Lord tells you, lose the shoes and you look at that shoe maybe you have just bought it you look at that shoe maybe it's a very special shoe to you this shoe I have, I have really moved with it for years it is a very comfortable shoe 
But the Lord is saying loose the shoes. There is something in your life you have really built a point of comfort. But the Lord is seeing it as a limitation. The Lord is seeing that you cannot carry on the assignment. When you have that kind of shoe. The Lord is seeing that you cannot get on the football field. When you are putting on a high heeled shoe. But for you, you are saying it is trendy. What is that which is trendy in your life? And you feel you cannot do without it. The Lord is saying tonight, lose it. The Lord is saying, leave it. For the sake of my purpose. For the sake. For the sake of my will. Mukama <laughs> Mukama <laughs> I lose Father, we put off Mukama to a young Let's, let's put on the whole armor of God. The helmet of salvation. Some of us, when we present ourselves, our heads are open. We don't have the helmet. There is nothing seen about us concerning salvation. But let's put on the helmet of salvation. Let's put on the breastplate of righteousness. Let's put on the belt of truth. Let's put on, let's hold the sword in our hand. 
Let's put on the shoes of the gospel. Yes, Father, tonight we put on the whole arm of God. We put on the helmet of salvation. We put on the breastplate of salvation. We put on the belt of truth. Lord, let there be truth within us. Lord, clothe us, Lord, with your word. In the name of Jesus. Lord, help us to hide your word within our hearts. That we may not sin against you. Holy Spirit, will you help us? Yes, Lord, we hold the word. We hold the word of truth. We hold the sword. We hold the sword of the Spirit. That we be able to pierce the enemy. That we be able to destroy every work of the enemy. We hold the word of God. We hold the word of God. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus. We put on the shoes of the gospel. We put on the shoes of the gospel. Pray the Lord God to go out. Pray the Lord God to go out. Ready to preach the gospel. Ready to reach out to the world. Yes, we put on the shoes of the gospel. Holy Spirit, we ask that you strengthen us. Holy Spirit, we ask that you strengthen us. Because your word tells us in Ephesians 6, 6 10, be strong. Be strong. Father, we ask of your strength. We ask of your strength to overcome. We ask of your strength to put off the shoes. We ask of your strength to put on the helmet of salvation. We ask of your strength to put on the breastplate of righteousness. We ask of your strength to put on the belt of truth. We ask of your strength to hold on your word. We ask of your strength to put on the shoes of the gospel. Father, we thank you. Father, we pray that you draw us to that place of manifestation. Holy Spirit, ask that you separate us to that place of encounter, to that place of that special touch, to that place of assignment. Father, we give you glory. We give you praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's give God a mighty hand clap. Let's give God a mighty hand clap. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you so much for coming. Yeah, let's continue with that burden in our individual moments with the Lord. Don't struggle with it, that's true. There is something big the Lord has for you. But the Lord is looking for that heart of obedience. After Joshua obeyed and removed the shoes. Then the Lord said, See, I have given you Jericho. There is something you are crying out before God. But the Lord is saying, First remove the shoes. And you will conquer Jericho. The place of his manifestation. It's a place of assignment. It's a place of your possession. It's a place of victory. May God bless you. Hallelujah. Our baskets are here. Yes, today we have two baskets. Thank you for being a part of this radio podcast from Deliverance Church Cure. We have midweek services on Thursday from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Evening prayers from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Every Sunday. First service starts at 8 a.m. Thank you. See you there.